What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here guys. I wanna welcome you to the game update for November 2021. And once again, gaming season is still trucking right along. There's a ton of games coming out this month on top of the games we already have on the go. Now, before we get started into the new releases, I just wanna mention really quickly about the old ones that we're currently getting through. Um, there seems to be a bit of misunderstanding each and every year. It happens every year. People think that I'm just done with the series just because I haven't been back to it in a few days or a week or whatever. Um, it's, it, it's, getting a, it's a little frustrating because I almost never quit games. So you guys can rest assured if I start something on the channel, I plan on finishing it unless I make an announcement. Uh, the problem is there's so many games coming out and there's only so many hours in the week that I can't do every single game at once. Uh, that being said, any game that's currently ongoing uh, will get finished. I mean, Far Cry 6, I'm super close. Um, I'm still working on, at this point anyway, you'll see the, the finish soon, but uh, I'm working on uh, Main of Black Water still. I'm also working on um, Riders Republic. There's like these games that are currently ongoing um, are going to get finished. NHL, NBA, all these games will be continued and they won't just stop. Uh, I had a couple people, I remember I played a game twice in, like two days in a row straight, and I played something else on the third day, and they're like, oh, so you're done with that game? No, that doesn't make sense. I wouldn't just quit a game after starting it and spending a ton of time on it. The reason I spend a ton of time on a game and then say Switch is so I have a ton of gameplay to give you, now I can go to another game. You know what I mean? So like, and then I'll come back to it. That way if people are tied over for a bit and they won't be like, oh, there was only one part or one stream. I want, I want, I want to see more of this. You know, I gave you a bunch. That's what I try to do is try and stream at least a few streams of a game and then go back to some stuff. So for those wondering about Far Cry 6, NBA, NHL, uh, you know, Rise Republic, whatever, they're going to get finished. I 100% promise you that. Like I said, there's just so many games that come out. And as always on my channel, new games take the priority. So if a game comes out on a specific date, that game is getting done first. It has nothing to do with... Um, not like finishing it. it it's not means like okay i'm on to something else i'm done with this that's not how it works i've never done that um i've always been like giving people a, an honest like i'll be like if i don't like it i'm telling you straight up like i'm not playing this game we're done with it um but even if i'm not a huge fan of a game i will try and finish it to the best of my ability usually i will know in the first couple hours if i don't want to do a series or not so if i keep going past that two hour stream point and we're still playing it chances are that game's gonna get finished so just gotta bear with me. Uh, it will all get done before you know it. We'll be out of gaming season and then there's gonna be like no games. So we'll have all this time to work on. Speaking back to NBA and NHL really quick though, um, those are games that last months. They're not games that are, I do it all in a month and I'm done with it for the year. No, 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 I do those over time. So those are games that are always gonna be in the back pocket. And since we're streaming now, we can do a stream like that whenever we want. So we can go on to two, even maybe three seasons of 2K this year, for example. NHL, same deal, two, maybe three seasons. Um, in one game because we're streaming it there's way more gameplay taking place because of that instead of just weekends so much better I'm glad I brought the uh, sports games to the week or sorry to the streaming lineup as well so besides that I promise I'm gonna finish all those games trust me it eats in the back of my head just because I'm like oh I hate starting a new game and not finishing another one but it's just the way the cookie crumbles so I'm afraid uh, we will get through it I'll do my best to go back and forth but as a game goes on and on like you know the release time we get away and away from the release and I've spent already a ton of streams on it it's going to be played less as new games come out. Mind you, if there were no new games in the coming weeks, I would just finish these games. They would be done. That's it. And then I have to figure out something else to do. So for those that are worried, I don't. Don't worry. I will always finish these games. I promise. Now, without any further ado, let's jump in and get started with the games in November. Now that that's got all, I've got that off my chest because quite frankly, there's there are a lot of games and they're kind of they're all kind of released at roughly the same kind of time. Uh, but there's not as many as October. I felt like October had a bit more. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some popped up more than I thought, but that's usually the case. Usually October and then first half of November, and then it's chill, maybe a game in December, and then like nothing in January. That's always how it's been. Anyway, let's get started here. Coming out on technically the 5th, I originally it was said it was the 9th, but it's coming out on the 5th now. Uh, Forza Horizon 5, I'm a big Forza Horizon fi fan. I played, I think the last, well, I think I started Forza Horizon 2. I don't think I've played the first Forza Horizon. That was the only one I didn't do because at the time I didn't I didn't understand. I didn't know what kind of game it was back then. Like that was years ago. I think that was like 2011 or something it came out. I could be wrong. But uh, either way, I never ended up playing the first one. But I've loved the games that have gone on. It's the perfect blend of realistic with arcade style racing. A lot of fun, a lot of great challenges, a lot of cool racing as well. And we're going to be streaming this one, meaning we're going to be able to do way more stuff. Uh, over a, a sm shorter period of time, which is amazing. So I'm really excited for that. And I do have an early code for that. So you guys don't have to worry. We're gonna be playing that game on the Thursday, or sorry, no, 
yes, the thir Thursday, which is the fourth, excuse me, I couldn't think of it. On the fourth, I'll be jumping into that one. All day, you're gonna see Forza Horizon 4. That's all you're gonna see that day. All right, moving on. And yes, and then we're gonna come back to it too. We're gonna, the way it's gonna work is finish all the main races. That's how it's gonna work in a career. I'm just letting you know now. As soon as, <laughs> as, soon as that's done, as soon as the races are done, um, all the races are done, we'll probably, you know, fade out of it. We won't go for like 100% necessarily, but we'll definitely try and get all the stars and things like that. We'll try, try our best, okay? It's gonna be mainly to finish all the races and challenges. That's gonna be the goal of that one. All right, anywho, uh, let's move on. Also coming out on the fifth, I sh might get an early code. I don't know, but the embargoes are kind of strict when it comes to this, so I'm assuming we'll be playing it on the fifth. Anyway, we have Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, as per usual, Call of Duty is usually my slow month uh, you know, slow week, slow month, whatever, streaming game. So I'll always do multiplayer. I did it with uh, Cold War. I did it with Modern Warfare. Um, <clears throat> I played a lot of Call of Duty over the last few years. And then I kind of phase out in the spring to summer, like where I just kind of stopped playing it. And that I had no intent of doing that with Cold War. Um, but I ended up stopping playing that game, I believe in early March when like season, I think three was kicking off. And I played season one and two religiously, like constantly. And, um, I don't know. I think I think at the start of season, might have been season four. I could be wrong. I don't really remember. But at one of the starts, it was like the debut. I played it. I never went back to that game, which is just kind of funny that I never went back to that game. But sometimes that's how she goes. <laughs> never ended up going back to it. But regardless, we will be playing that. And first things first, we're going to take care of the campaign. It's going to be a single stream, one and done campaign. Just do it. Okay. When it comes to multiplayer, I don't know when I'm going to touch the multiplayer, but I will. So. Obviously, that's going to be something that we're going to do. Viewers will be able to join and play with me as well in, in open lobbies as we've done. Uh, I just don't know when I'm going to start the multiplayer, but the campaign, we're going to do it in one sitting because all Call of Duty campaigns can literally range from four to six hours, depending what you do. Uh, I think Cold War took me about six hours. That's nothing these days, man. I stream longer than that all the time. So we're going to be doing a Friday stream of Vanguard campaign once all the way through. Call it there, okay? That's going to be the goal for Vanguard, okay? And like I said, multiplayer throughout the times whenever we feel like playing some multiplayer and we uh you know we need to fit in some stuff here and there okay moving on this one was kind of added a little bit later just because of when the announce was uh but on the 11th of november there originally there was not gonna be anything during that week i think that's like the 8th to whatever uh 8th to the 12th i think there was no releases and i'm like oh i'm gonna use this to catch up on all the games that are out not not so maybe in the first few days but <laughs> once we get to that 11th period things are changing we've got grand theft auto the trilogy definitive edition basically grand theft auto 3 vice city and san andreas all being re-released as a remaster i want people to understand it's a remaster not a remake very very different remasters are usually they take the original game upgrade the shaders frame rate uh, uh you know skins textures stuff like that a remake is a ground up rebuild basing using the main the original game as a template that's it Remasters, they already have the files and they redo them. It's like modding. Basically look at it like a publisher or a developed de official dev team modding it. That's basically what it is. So we're gonna replay those. I actually did play Grand Theft Auto, the Grand Theft Auto series on stream, at least not all of them. I think San Andreas and four, I played on stream. Uh, and I think I replayed five, I don't remember, on like Facebook stream a few years ago, but I haven't played GTA three. Uh, or, 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 or or Vice City in a minute. It's been a few years since I've done that, but I have done Let's Plays here, but this is the re, like remastered versions. Naturally, I gotta play them. It will take us some time to get through all those. I do know that GTA 3 isn't the longest game. Actually, I think it's the shortest in the lot. I think you can actually beat the, the campaign, or sorry, the, the story of that in about eight to 12 hours, which doesn't sound like a lot. I could be wrong, but I remember I didn't spend that much time on GTA 3. I really think you can beat it in like a 12 hour sit session, you know, like, or you know what I mean? That's like two, six hour streams or three, uh, four hour streams, which is probably gonna be the case. But Vice City, also a little on the shorter side, not as not a bit longer than GTA 3, um, but it's gonna take a bit, time, little, little, little bit less time. But San Andreas, that's a long one. That's gonna take us a good chunk of time, I think. It's like four times the size of like GTA 3 and Vice City. So I think that one will take us some time and we're probably gonna end up playing those games all the way through the rest of the year, possibly into January, depending on the schedule. Now, well, I just want you guys to understand, GT, the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, while it is new, it's a new launch, it's not gonna be the main focus. I will play them on launch day, I will start the series, but you won't get it every day. You know what I mean? It's, I guess it depends on the reception, you know, depending on the other games I have on the go. 
what the priority is going to be. So with that in mind, I'm going to play through all three games. It's gonna be a slow series. It's kind of like what happened with Mass Effect. Mass Effect, I say, is longer than those games. Like all, each, like one game of Mass Effect, one series of Mass Effect is longer than those games, than one of those games, you know what I mean? So one, mass, one game of Mass Effect is longer than one game of GTA. So unless, you, unless, of course, you're talking about San Andreas, which could easily take 24 to 30 hours for sure. So um, that one might be long, like I said, but it's going to be a similar situation with Mass Effect. We'll play it when we can, as much as we can, when we can. I'll try and make sure anything that I've already started is finished before I get too intense with it. Um, but I will start it on launch like I've been doing. And then we'll kind of go from there, okay? So GTA, people have asked me if I'm going to play it. Of course, I'm going to play it. Uh, hopefully, that signs that GTA 6 is in the works, but man, it's been a long time. We are going on nine years since that game came out, GTA 5. So that's pretty insane. Usually, Rockstar is quicker. I'm like, you know what? Take as much time as you need. Um, make the game as amazing as you possibly can. But that's not real. I don't know. I'm not saying they're not working on it, but I am saying that they probably would have had it now but they keep re-releasing five because it's such an easy way to get money. It's such, because people keep buying it and people are still playing GTA online and there's GTA role play and all that. So it, it makes sense, but you know, we want a new game now. I want a new GTA. So I don't know, maybe it's not just me, but it's fun to play the originals where we kind of came from, you know, like the original third part or third, third person 3D versions. Cause I played GTA one and GTA two and uh, London 1940 whatever I can't remember what it 1960 something I can't remember I played all those GTAs those are the ones the top downs I'm an OG man I remember all that but this is where it really got insane so anyway that's gonna be done over the course of the next few months starting on the 11th okay let's move on I'm blabbing a little bit moving on we have on the 16th of November not sure if I'm gonna get an early code for this but I played most of the games in this franchise over the, on the channel for the last few years. And we have got Sherlock, 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 Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Frogware Sherlock Holmes games. They're a lot of fun to play. Um, the last game, Devil's Daughter, came out in 17. So it's been uh, four years since we've seen that game. That, that series did quite well on the channel. It was so funny. I remember when that game was new, I played it, and I think I got it early. And I remember playing the game, and it, it, it got a few hundred thousand views on it. And then for no reason, like last year, I think, like for starting in 2020 and up till now, people have been getting recommended my series on YouTube. I don't, I don't really get the algorithm. And it's been like, it's like close to a million views now. <laughs> that first series, I'm like, where did that come from? I think it's like, last I checked, it was like 900,000 or something. I could be wrong now, but it might be more. I don't know. It's so funny how that works out. So I'm hoping that the hype of this game will help as well. And, and maybe we'll get some another successful series as well. Because it's so much fun to play the Sherlock Holmes games. And Devil's Daughter, I think they kind of simplified it a little bit. They made it more action-based, but they also kept the, the sweetness, if you will of the pat like the you know all the the brain palace and deducing this deducing that of the past games as well so they've actually done their their homework on this one as well so i'm hoping that chapter one i believe chapter one is kind of like a prequel kind of like a younger version of the of you know holmes and watson uh kind of as they're starting out if i remember correctly i could be wrong um but because there's so many sure like home games it's easy to get them mixed up um, but I'm really excited to be doing it because like I said, the Frog Wars does a great job at doing the Sherlock Holmes games and I think you guys are going to really enjoy that one. A lot of people have been mentioning, Dan, you got to play it. Well, don't worry. I play all the Sherlock Holmes games on the channel. All right, moving on. We've got, uh, this is basically the last f official release of the month. That's what I mean. You see what I mean? They're kind of condensed in like the second and third week. Uh, well, I guess kind of first to third week. Uh, there's five games anyway. Anyway, look, this, is, this game actually got delayed, I think, once or twice, I'm not sure. But we've got on the 19th, Battlefield 2042. Um, I did have the beta. However, I never played the that beta because at the time there's so many games and I've always said a beta is not a priority compared to other full games. We're gonna play that full game eventually. I don't know exactly uh, if we're gonna get it early. I do have uh, EA Play Pro. Uh, so usually they give it to you either a few days early or you 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 know you get to, I don't know they just give it to you right they, they it's it was the same, it was it's basically like in the subscription service for EA and you can get all their titles a little earlier so I I don't know if they're gonna they don't do it for with every game but they do it with usually their main flagships so I'd imagine we should be able to get an early one for this one with EA Play Pro now one thing to mention as well we're going to be starting with the campaign so day one we're gonna take out the campaign do that in one sitting and then we'll come back to multiplayer, similar to what we do with Call of Duty. So I'm just kind of balancing those two. It's been a while though since we've had a, a Battlefield game because that e, sorry EA doesn't release Battlefields every single year. Like it's not like a Call of Duty uh, launch cycle. So it's it's a few years off. I think 18. I, I know it was Battlefield One. 
or no, Battlefield 5, sorry, was the last one. See what I mean? I, I thought, I, 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 it's been so long and I never played enough Battlefield that Battlefield 1 and 5 kind of merged together. So yeah, that's kind of me right now. So Battlefield 5 was the last one. I think that came out in 18 or 19. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. It's been a while. Either way, I'm looking forward to Battlefield 2042. Going back to kind of the futuristic, kind of mo near future, modern-ish kind of style. You got to love your World Wars. Um, however, after playing Call of Duty and going back to a World War setting, which we're about to do again, um, you get so used to the modern things. That I love the OG campaigns. Like Call of Duty was funded or start not funded, but built on like uh, you know World War, like the World War II genre. And I love World War uh, II shooters, but it's kind of a dying breed, unfortunately. But it's nice to dip back into it. Uh, but it'll be nice, I think, in the Battlefield franchise. I don't think their World War was as good as Call of Duty, so I think it, they kind of deserve to be in the this kind of era, like the modern era, and then in the future era. So I think it'll work out a little bit better. So I'm looking forward to that game. And like I said, we will be playing multiplayer, although I've always been more in the COD camp, uh, just for gameplay style myself. So I'll probably play more COD than I will Battlefield, but I'm obviously gonna give both their fair shake as well. So uh, that's what we got lined up. And guys, that is about it for the game update for November. I know there's a lot of stuff going on um, this month. And again, I have a lot of games that I'm still playing. So you have to bear with me on this as I get everything set. But um, it's all gonna get done, I assure you, because December is very light. So there's, I think, just one type as I know of one title in December right now. So if we don't have all this stuff done, well, honestly, it'll probably bleed into December, but I'm hoping to get all the October games done, um, you know, in November, early November, hopefully, or at least second week in November, have all the, the games I was working on in October that came out in October, that excludes NBA and NHL. Uh, I don't actually, I think those came out in September now that I'm thinking about it. It's been a while. I don't remember when they came out, but you know what I mean? What, those type of games are excluded from this. Anything story-based that I'm still working on, I want those done this month so I can move on to these games and focus on these games. Because I just want to get out of the woods. Grand Theft Auto is going to be a nice game to play over time. Like I said, we're going to have a lot of content, guys. There's so much content. That's why I think you should turn on post notifications if you haven't done so yet. Uh, with a little bell icon down below, select all. That way you don't miss out on anything I put out this coming month. It's going to be crazy. So don't miss it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. It does help out so much. Comment down below. What game are you looking forward to the most? What game have you been enjoying that I've been posting so far? Is there anything you think I missed or think I should add to the channel uh, to cover? Let me know in the comments. Please, please, please tell me what you want to see. That's what it's all about. You guys need to tell me what you want to see and what you don't want to see. If you have interest in anything at all, you got to let me know, okay? That's the, the that's how this stuff works. That's how that's how I basically figure everything out. It's based on feedback and recommendations and just kind of things like that. It's not just me picking games I would want to do. I, I wouldn't know about certain games if people didn't tell me, you know what I mean? So that has happened a lot. So make sure you go let me know, okay? And don't forget to like follow my social medias as well. I got a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discord. Those are linked in the description. If you want to get a shirt hoodie mine, link in the description. It's also embedded right below this video. You can scroll down and see what I have available right there. But the website has the full uh, full roster of clothing, if you will. Uh, and also, I want to give a big shout out to all the sponsors of the stream. DX Racer, Bones Coffee, Always Bearded, The Ridge Wallet, and Jinx Custom Controllers. I use their products every day. You can check all those guys out with the link in the description. And you can use my promo code DANQ8000 where applicable to save off uh, some money off check check at checkout excuse me and finally don't forget to check out the team 8000 membership program if you haven't done so yet it does support the page so very much and uh obviously you know there's two par there's two uh, tiers available a basic and a premium you'll get perks for signing up obviously you'll get badges by your name emojis to use in chat exclusive videos and streams and priority in open lobbies if you go the premium route though you'll get a 20 percent off discount code to use my merch store as well as entry in the monthly game giveaway where i take all the premium members throw their names into a draw pull a name that person wins a game of their choice they tell me what game they want i send it to them simple as that you can check all that out Link in the description, join button below the video and on my main channel page. Speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen, due to the nature of the start of this month, we will be doing the members only stream on the 3rd. So that is this Wednesday in the afternoon. So right after my lunchtime, uh, so probably around uh, 2 p.m. I'd say, um, ish, maybe a little sooner. I haven't fully decided when I'm doing it. Um, around 2 p.m. Pacific time, um, or 1 p.m. Pacific time, sorry. Um, I will be doing my member only giveaway and this month we're going to be doing a house tour. I, I've been, um, I've been talking about this a little bit over the last few weeks. Um, I've been in this house for like a year and three months and I still haven't showed anybody anything. I've told people that I wanted to show the members first. I've literally been saying that all year. 
and I'm officially going to do it. It's been a minute because I've been trying to get my office set up. I still got some things to do, but I'm gonna try and have it ready for the stream so I can show you the office firsthand, look at the office, uh, the rest of the house, you know, things like that. It was just, it was just so much carnage. There was so much to do that we just, it took so long. Like, you know, life got in the way. If we could just spend all our time on, on you know, the house, it, it would have been done sooner, but it just wasn't. And there's still some things we need to do. So I'll officially do a main video um, once the whole thing is ready, once the house is ready to rock and I feel like we're comfortable, we're ready, we're at that point, I'll do a tour then again, except it'll be a regular video for everyone to watch. But for now, this is an exclusive member only one. So make sure you are a member if you wanna watch, it doesn't matter. If you're a basic or a premium member, you can check into that stream, tune into that stream, and even after the stream is not live anymore, you can still go back and watch it as a member. So make sure you sign up, like I said. Now, it, I will also be doing the premium member giveaway at the end of that stream, uh, so if you want to be your name to be entered in the draw for a chance to win a game of your choice Make sure you're a premium member Otherwise just sign up to be a member doesn't matter and come join in and hang out with me while I show you around All right guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed I cannot wait to get into these games this month. It's gonna be awesome I'm so busy, but every day I look forward to streaming, you know, like sometimes like oh, I'm tired I don't feel like it. I feel like it every day. There's days. I want to I, I took like like this past week. I streamed uh, f six days basically six days straight instead of five. So I would, if I could do another day, I would, but there's still, you know, other, I have to step out away from it, you know, and do family stuff, life stuff, that sort of thing. So um, it's been a lot of fun and there's just so much stuff to do and I'm just enjoying it. So thank you guys for continuing to watch and support the channel. It means a lot to me. So thank you guys for watching again. Hope I'll see you in another stream uh, very, very soon. Until then, let's hand things over to Noxel. All right, take care guys. Who the man with the plan? Mm -hmm. If you feel trouble while and wild, don't need violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style, it's dialed Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding, tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black, what up? Hood up and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers. Just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.